Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all continuing to do well. I've been missing in action for a little while. My daughter and I have been a little bit under the weather, but we're much better now. And in today's video, I have this Tradescantia Spathacea, or uh, Moses in a Cradle, Boat Lily, that I need to work on a little bit. It's getting quite leggy in through the center. So what I'm going to do with this plant is I am going to cut all of this back and then I'm going to take the entire plant out of this pot, replace it with new soil and then plant the cuttings back into this pot. And then I will take the root ball and place that into a different pot. So, okay, let me position the camera downward so you can see what I'm doing and we'll get into the video. Okay guys, so this is what we are working with today. If you hear the saw in the background, that's my husband. He's kind of working on the deck a little bit today, putting up some more boards. So if you hear that periodically, that is what that is. So as you can see, this plant is definitely a little bit bare and through the center, it's getting a little bit leggy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all of these sections, these stems back, and I am going to replace this pot with um, some new soil. And then I'm going to take the cuttings and then plant them back into this pot. And then I'm gonna take the root ball and I'm probably going to put it in this container here, which is about an eight inch container. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Things may change, but that's what I'm thinking as of right now. Um, I hate to cut this plant back because it is looking so pretty and so full, but it's definitely in need of it because it is very, very leggy, so it needs to be done. I have watered this plant in this morning just so that the leaves plumped up a little bit and once we place the cuttings into the drier soil there's going to be less chance that they will get wilty and more of a chance that they will stay healthy during the rooting process. So okay let's begin. Lots of cuttings here. I'm using scissors. My pruners I believe are in the garage and I have sterilized these ones. So here's one cutting that I'm gonna take. I can move this back for you guys just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Today is a beautiful day. I think it's supposed to be 75, 80 here today in New York, central New York. Here's another cutting. And when I'm making these cuts, I am cutting way down towards the base of the stem. size piece right here. This one I will probably cut into a couple of different cuttings. Okay guys, so after doing my pruning back of this plant, this is what we have left. So I'm going to take this root ball and I'm going to take it out. 
and plant it into a new pot. All of these cuttings came from just 10 stems from this pot. It was very, very full. I've actually been getting quite a bit done within the last couple of weeks. I repotted a lot or several of my plants that needed it. I also picked up a couple of new plants that I haven't shown you all yet. And I'll probably be getting to a little video here soon, some updates along with the new plants that I purchased. All right, let's see if you can get this out of here. Definitely root bound. Look at those roots. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side for now. Place a rock down at the bottom so that my soil doesn't fall out. My soil mixture is the typical soil mixture that I use all the time for most of my plants and that is about two-thirds of a regular potting mix along with some cactus palm citrus soil mixed in there as well and then the last third I amend it with orchid bark. I have some mosquito bits in there, worm castings, and I think that's about it. So just a nice light airy mixture, a chunky mixture. I'm going to take some of this rooting hormone and place some on each of the cuttings before I place them into the soil. That way it will give a little bit of reassurance that the cuttings won't rot during the rooting process. This does, or it is supposed to help a little bit. Um, I haven't really paid attention to whether there's a huge difference, but I figured in this case, I might as well use it. I remembered to use it, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I placed just a little bit of that rooting hormone into this cap. That way I can just dip the bottom of the stem into this right here. Before placing the cuttings into the soil, I am going to pick and choose what ones are the best. This one is a little bit smaller. The stem is quite a bit thinner. So I'm going to look through these and see which ones look the best. I'm going to take off the bottom portion of the leaves. Super, super windy out here. Hopefully this video turns out all right for you guys. Lots of background noise. All right, so this soil is dry. I think I had mentioned that. Place the first cutting in. Just push it deep down into the soil so that the base of that stem is covered and then just kind of move the soil around the bottom part of the stem. Next cutting, this one looks okay. Take off the bottom, a few leaves. 
because this area here is where the roots are going to form. Get this in some rooting hormone. This is gonna make this is gonna make a nice beautiful fall plant. Alright, so this one is really kinda big. Let me see here. What am I gonna do with this one? This one actually has a split. I think. Huh. Let me cut this one. Should I cut this one back a little bit? I don't know. You can see right here where this one is actually split. I don't know whether you can see that. I think I will use that. So we'll cut right at the base. Pull some of these leaves back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save this one for another pot because it is actually quite large, so. All right, I'll use this one here. Pull some of those leaves back. Get the base and some rooting hormone. So thankful that we finally have some nice weather. Although I do think it is supposed to get a little bit cooler again this week. But it's okay. I'm enjoying today, so living in the moment, guys. How you doing over there, honey? There. These Tratoscantias, these tricolors, really grow quite quickly. This one has put on so much growth. I want to say I've had this one for, I think I've had it for about a year. Super pretty. The key to these guys is you definitely don't want to overwater these ones because the leaves get really black and mushy. Not a pretty sight. It's looking super pretty, you guys. Very full, pretty. I think I have, let me see, one more cutting that I'm going to use. I'm going to save this for another one. And I think I'm going to save this one here because this one's a little bit crooked. So I'm going to save that one for another planter. And I'm just going to pat the soil around the cuttings a little bit just to be sure that the bottom part of the stem is in contact with the soil. And since these cuttings are new, I'm going to wait for probably a day or two before I water this, before I lightly water it, because we don't want these stems to rot. So I'm just going to let them sit for a day or two. And also, at that point, after a couple of days, I will probably add Eh, you know what, maybe I'll add some more soil now. Just a little bit. In there. The camera keeps falling down. Hopefully this video turns out okay. I'm 
rusty. It's been a little while since I've recorded. Okay guys, so that's what this plant is looking like. Very full and very pretty. Now we just sit back and wait and hopefully they all take. Okay, now for the root ball. Let's see if it will fit in here. Yes, it is going to. I'm just gonna add a little bit of soil into the bottom of this pot. And then with this root ball, I'm going to loosen up the base just a little bit, take off some of the soil. So that's what we have here, that's what we have left. I'm just going to trim some of these roots off at the bottom. That looks good. And let's see here. Place it back into this pot and then I'm going to add some soil around it. This whole root ball will send up new shoots. Get all the stud stuff out of here. And being that everything is intact, it probably won't take long for it to send up new shoots. I can never be mess free, ever. Okay guys, that is it for this pot. So now this one has already been watered in because I watered it in this morning. So I don't need to give it any more water. I'm gonna let this one sit for about a week, a few days, check it again to see if it needs any more water. And I'll just go from there. You can see where there's a little teeny tiny little new shoot right here coming through. And with this one, I'm glad that I did it this way because I really love the looks of this plant in this purple pot. I think it's gorgeous. So now throughout the rest of the growing season, um, Within the next few weeks, it'll root in really well, and I'll probably end up getting some new growth throughout the rest of the season and in through part of fall. So I'm really looking forward to watching this one grow from cuttings. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of my videos, please consider subscribing. And I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. I just placed a little bit of that. Ooh.